Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Super Car Guy channel. Today I'm doing a little bit of an unplanned video. I just wanted to show you how I diagnose cars other than, let's say, a BMW. Uh, so for BMWs, there's a lot of scanners that will actually allow you to scan the modules and do a lot of different cool things that you normally wouldn't be able to do on, you know, most normal cars. Now, I've been looking for a scanner for this Fiat 500 Abarth. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to really find anything. So I decided to turn back to my Autel uh, scanner. So I'll put the links in the description if you want to get one yourself. But I just wanted to show you a quick overview of what I actually do and what tools that I use. All right, so I had to turn off my airplane mode. So you might see some uh, notifications and stuff pop up. Uh, otherwise, this stuff doesn't load. So you do have to have an internet connection. So we're gonna go to diagnose and then you see all of the stuff that I have access to. For, at the moment I have access to BMW and Fiat. Uh, so I'm just gonna click on Fiat since this is a Fiat car. Now it's gonna take a second and it actually loads up pretty quick. Now we can go to automatic selection and then I'm gonna pick my VIN off camera. All right, so it's, I selected the vehicle and now I have an option to go to, diagno uh, to diagnosis go in and we have a few different options we can auto scan or pick the control units uh, individually so as an example uh, you know you can pick a body module or you can do ABS or whatever else so let's just do auto scan and scan the entire car so this is something a normal scanner wouldn't be able to do um, you know I, I've decided to make this video because I'm working on the window regulator and that car I've been trying to figure out what was the part that was broken and for me I actually got a scan code in here saying that there's a short within the window modulator actually you can see that that code is still there so I'm gonna show it to you once it's done scanning the entire uh, you know the entire car but what's cool about it is you can go to pretty much any module and you can see every sensor you can see everything else that the car reports and it just helps you troubleshoot uh, anything on the car, you know, times 10. So let's go ahead and go to body control or controller. You can go to read codes. And there you go. It says passenger window motor circuit open. So now I know that the motor on my window regulator is broken. So that's, you know, the part I need to order. Instead of trying to go look for fuses or see if the relay is bad and all that kind of stuff, I don't have to do it anymore. I can just simply scan it and then I have it. It's right there. It tells me exactly what the issue is. Not only that, we can go to live data. And this isn't like the live data you see on the regular scanners where you just basically, you know, see the PIDs for like the engine. This shows everything. I mean, this is just one of the modules and there's like 20 of them, right? So you see the battery voltage, okay, whatever. You see the key, so you know the key's in, in position, key's not in the crank position. You can see if the car's charging, so alternator status, anti-theft signals. All of this stuff is just available and very easy to read. And I'll even give you an example. So if we go to, uh, let's see. Steering wheel, front wiper, front washer. I'm trying to find, yes. All right, so driver uh, window switch up. So the driver switch is right there. I know it's just off the camera. But I, what I'm gonna do is gonna pull it up. So see, it says active right there. You might have even heard the, uh, the relay switch. So I'm gonna push it down now. You can kind of see my finger and active. So you can troubleshoot things doing, you know, just this, looking at the live data. So this way I know, as an example, I knew that, okay, see, it just shows me. So I know my switch is good. I know the electrical parts going to the door are good. It's just that, you know, the window regulator is broken. And there's a lot of this stuff out here that really, really helps troubleshoot uh, all kinds of different things in these cars. Not only that, uh, you can obviously erase the codes, you can look at the ECU information, a lot of useful information there. But you can do this for any module in in the car. So if we go to the powertrain, let's see what kind of information we have available there. 
All right, so I had to actually turn the car on and cool it off a little bit as it was getting a little too hot in here and my camera was complaining about the heat. But let's go into the power control module and see what we can find in here. We can do the same thing. We can read the codes, erase the codes, but also look at the live data. Uh, let's see what kind of live data we can see in here. The car is obviously not running at the moment, but you can see, you know, this live data for pretty much anything you'd want to see. I mean, you have your map sensor volts, you have your you know throttle angle so here i'm going to press on the throttle a little bit and you see how it's changing based on where i keep it if i had the car running it would be a little too loud but like you can get the engine speed and everything else in here so this is super useful for troubleshooting any kind of issues that you have for me i really like the body control module because it tells you a lot of the sensors and you know things like that so if you some kind of like a switch is not working you can definitely test it through here and make sure that's not the issue or that is the issue and you can replace it without having to disassemble a dash or do something like that so i think it's really really cool and i mean i really like this scanner just for that reason now let's go all the way back and obviously you can do this for all of the modules you can go all the way back and you can also select the modules individually if you don't want to scan the entire car but we're going to go all the way back to the main menu and another cool feature in here is the service menu. So if you go into the service menu, you can do your oil resets, you can do your uh, brake pads, TPMS, you can register a battery, um, or like readapt the battery, brake bleed. Uh, I mean, this is obviously doesn't apply to this car. Uh, you can, you can, uh, you, unfortunately, you can't program uh, keys. But what you can do is you can change the numbers and enable uh, comfort access if your car has and stuff like that you can do um, the effective fuel injector point so it's basically uh, adjusting your injectors in a way suspension throttle i mean there's so much stuff in here that you can do with this one app and like i said it's about 60 dollars for the actual bluetooth device and about 20 dollars for additional licenses the first license is free now, I'm not trying to, you know, advertise Autel in any way. Their support actually wasn't that great. When mine stopped working, I had to kind of figure out how to fix it myself. For me, it was just a bent pin. But when I called them, they're like, well, you know, too bad, basically. But anyway, there's a lot of cool stuff in this app. And this, you know, this application combined with uh, the Bluetooth device will pretty much do what you would expect one of these systems to do. And these cost over a few hundred dollars and they will only work on one or two cars and you might have to buy additional licenses and all that stuff unless you spend over 800 bucks now of course if you're looking to work on uh, bmws that's probably better done with one of those uh like bmw specific scanners i have a couple videos on that so you can check those out those are you know i like those better because they just work faster and a little bit better uh, however if you have multiple cars or you work on many cars this is the way to go i mean you can go in and you can diagnose any car you know any car that you want basically but you can click on add and you can download it for any car that you may need so you have like a bar specific ones you have alfa romeo um i mean pretty much anything Bug you can even do bugatti so it's like any car obviously you have to pay a little bit extra uh, but what i did find out is that when i bought my BMW or well this one came with the with the scanner because first one's free BMW that actually worked in the mini as well so it doesn't just work on you know specifically BMW but works in minis as well so Fiat most likely will also work on Alfa Romeos and some other cars but haven't tested it so don't hold me to it but that's pretty much it guys I just wanted to show you a very quick and dirty video on you know how I troubleshoot certain modules in the cars in my cars and how to you know get it done for cheap you don't have to spend a ton of money just to work on different makes or models of cars uh that's about it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one